Archimedes principle. Our objective is to determine the buoyant force from the Archimedes principle. In our hypothesis, the buoyant force on the object is equal to the weight of the water displaced. This is the apparatus that we need. Retort stand and spring balance. Three set of block, wood, metal, and plastic. Two beaker and one Eureka beaker. And also scissor and string. Now that we have everything, we can finally start our experiment. Our experiment will be done by Miss Ika. First, we need to record the mass of the beaker without the water. We got 102 on this beaker. Measure the block in the air using the spring balance. Then, we will fill the Eureka beaker till the full. One way that we can know that our Eureka beaker is full till the maximum capacity is by making sure that all the overflow water have completely flowed down the Eureka beaker output hole. Then, we need to set the apparatus as follow. Then tie the wooden block to the spring balance with the strings. Then, we can gently move down the wooden block. Let the block arise or sink from the water. Water will be displaced from the Eureka beaker into the other beaker. Or it also make sure that we do this procedure two times so there will be no error. Then we can finally record the mass of the displaced water. Make sure that we have all the data that we need so we can complete the table. When we finish this with the wooden block, we can also do this to the plastic block and also the metal block. Just to repeat the same procedure. When finished, we can finally fill our data. Let's just, base, let's just fill our data based on the wooden block first. It will look something like this. Write down trial 1 and trial 2 and also write down the average for both in the air and also in the water. Then write the mass of the beaker with the displaced water and the weight of the water displaced. You can get the mass of the beaker with the displaced water based on your measurement. Then you can acquire the weight of the water displaced by Having the mass of the empty water, subtract with the mass of beaker with displaced water. You can get the significant loss of block weight using the formula that was written in the table. Then finally, you can have the error percentage by having the significant loss of block weight, subtract with the weight of water displaced and then divide them with the significant loss of block weight.